Hi, my name is Mahasi. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and relationship expert. I want to talk about the concept of cutting off friends and cutting off relationships. The thing is, especially now, people are reacting. You know, you can truly see the truth. I mean, you can see the truth in people when they don't get what they want and when they get what they want. And I want you to pay attention because the kind of person that if you're close to that ends up cutting off a relationship from you with you because you don't agree with them or anything or treats you badly is a toxic person no matter what you know because generally there's other signs of toxicity it's it's like you know what does that have to do with anything and and sometimes we don't pay attention to to the the clues you know because friends are people that we choose because we like them okay there's no obligation to friends I mean they're not your our friends are not supposed to agree with everything nobody's really supposed to agree with everything we want but especially with friends I mean you may have the similar music taste or you know you can be you like to hike the thing is that there's certain loyalty that you want which is something happening to you personally you don't want them to go against you you want them to support you but there's a problem, especially nowadays, there's so much demand. And that's one thing is I keep talking about entitlement and people are so focused on their emotions. It's like, you need to be there for me. Why? I'm suffering. I'm feeling angry. Well, that is not anybody else's job to make you feel better. That's not specifically a friend's job to do, you know? And um, so, they can like, they're not gonna make it, you know, what can they do? You know what I mean? But you know, it, it, it's when, when there's like, so what I'm saying is a lot of friendships are also developed at younger years, like in high school. And see high school, you can't really choose your friends because it's like you're in a prison and you pick the best person. But to look at like, is this person someone that I would hang out with later on? Or I'm just hanging out with them at that time. And a lot of people just, just get stuck with their high school friends. Now, there's good friends that you can find. But you have to remember that, again, friends we choose, we like. But notice, in addition to getting to this point, you don't want to get be toxicity. Notice um, when, you, when you're succeeding, how your friend responds to you. If your friend excludes you or kind of I don't know, gets guarded or puts you down a little bit, that's not good. That's toxic. If you're down and they kick you when you're down and they, you know, make you feel bad, that's toxic. If you disagree with them and they try to bully you and make you feel bad and insult you and belittle you, that is toxic. That is not friendship. These people are not your friend. People don't do that because you don't do that with friends. You like your friends and you're supposed to look forward to being around your friends. So a lot of times we get triggered or whatever and we're in that relationship. We stay in that relationship for codependency or anything. And you may realize that you don't even like this person, you know, but you have this obligation. That means that you do need to cut off from that friend. And now I have noticed a lot of people are just lashing out. Well, they're showing their true selves. So if they're lashing out at you, I want you to just step back and notice, hmm, how does this person react at these certain times when I succeed, when I'm down? And see, okay, is it really emotional? Are they wanting me, or like wanting you to be like them and agree with them and demand? Or are they just reacting? And that's the first time you've ever seen that behavior. Then if it's the first time, that's, that's fine. And you know, you just say, look, I agree to disagree and if they can handle that great but if they can't then they're toxic but you know what you don't need to get into a whole fight it matters like you can slowly cut off from them and that's what you need to do anyways with family with friends when they treat you badly you don't have an obligation to be with them okay you 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 don't put yourself in a position to be just like them if you use that as an excuse though to treat them badly then you are the toxic one okay you suddenly realize oh my god my friend is like this 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 well I'm gonna show her I'm gonna go off on her why 
then are you? You might be the toxic one too. So there is no justification. Let me tell you again, no justification for bad behavior. I don't care if someone ran over your foot, okay? You're not supposed to go and yell at someone innocent because of that, okay? Hold it in, take care of it. Again, no justification for bad behavior. And so with these people, you need to pay attention and slowly cut off. Now, sometimes you need to immediately cut off. If they do something and it gets you that angry, then it might be a great opportunity for you to get rid of them. So if they cut off from you, great. It makes your life easier and block them. Don't give them a chance to come back. Okay, if they're willing to cut you off because you don't agree with them, they're not a friend. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Good luck. If you have any questions, please comment below. And I have my show on Instagram from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday nights. And you can come live and ask. We can go on live and ask questions. We have different topics. But you also can work with me and or I can comment and I can have more topics that you would like to hear about. Again, it's Mahasti. Bye.